Hi Dave, great session last night. Just to recap on the work that we did, what we got here on the far left, and we did look at it from face on, ball position a little bit too far back, handle a little bit too far forward, basically set up for a big high draw, and that's basically the shots you've been experienced. The problem with that is when we need it, it's fine, but if it doesn't come off, it brings into play the big miss to the right, or the overdraw to the left. So there's just everything's just a little bit OTT at the moment in regards to the draw shot. Arms are sucked back inside, a little bit across the line at the top, coming into impact now at P6, club well behind your hands, and from there all we're really going to be able to do is hit out at it. So there's a lot of really good things going on there if a big draw is what we're trying to hit. And as we discussed yesterday, hitting a big draw is fine on the range, but when we get out onto a golf course, we have to hit a varying number of shots. And really, we want to reduce the amount that we're shaping the ball by. So here we look at Charlie Wee as he's coming into impact. One of the things we're going to see is that the club shaft is much more in line with his hands at P6. And how we're going to do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use this grid to allow us to police things and we're going to use this grid to introduce changes. One of the things we discussed last night was, and i just put some lines on the screen here, it's all about positioning the handle of the club, the weight, the ball position, to give us the sort of shots that we want. Positioning the handle as well is included in there. Now at the moment, it's the centre point of your swing. We have a ball position and a handle position that is based very much on ball back, handle forward, which is going to give the maximum amount of inside approach with a club face that's pointing out to the right. So you can see if we took the line of the blue graphics, we'd be hitting a straight push. If we just squirt that club face off in relation to the target, we'd now hit an overdraw. And if we had that club face slightly right to target, but less to the right than the path, we'd hit the big draw. So what are we looking to do and how are we looking to police it? That's your current setup. But what we're looking to do here now within the grid is we're going to, and what we see here with the footage on the far right, We've got the ball forward in the stance, which means the blade tends to point left of target. And we've now got a path, because the ball's forward, coming slightly more out to in, which is going to give us a straight pull. If we want to hit that cut shot, we've either got to swing more to the left than the blade points, or just soften the blade up a little bit so that it doesn't point quite as far to the left. So when we've been working on that, what we actually see is a balancing out effect. So this is after you've spent some time coming well across the golf ball with the ball forward in your stance. We can see as we take the club back, the arms don't quite get sucked in as much. Beautiful position here now at P2. As we go up, P3, again, arms not quite as much sucked in behind you, P4, this next position is fantastic, bang, perfect, very, very good at that point, a little bit more laid off, and as a result, the line of the shaft doesn't quite point as much to the right coming into impact. As we play you down here, we can see again, as we saw earlier, club shaft way behind the hands. If we look at it now as we get to P6, bingo, shaft directly in line with the hands. From there, we can make a much better pass at it. Yes, we were overdrawing the ball a little bit, simply because as we came through, the tendency to hit out at it crept in, because that's what we've been conditioned to do. But Dave, from here to here, is as good as it's going to get. That's absolutely fantastic.
now we've got to learn to control the flight of the golf ball. Overall, day, you're making a great swing. We need to start getting a little bit more creative and a little bit more into playing mode. That action you've got right there has been derived from you just trying to hit cuts as opposed to trying to hit a big draw all the time. So ultimately, what we would want to do is we would want to use that grid and move that ball around in that grid continuously, going through the whole spectrum of shots in each session, continuously changing the ball flight that we want. Mechanics of that move there, 10 out of 10. Well done. Good luck. Keep up the hard work.